went to six Rose Bowl games, which was the best one? Well, I think the year they beat uh, Washington, and Greeky was named the most valuable player in Rose Bowl game. Washington. That was in the 80s or the 90s? I, I wouldn't know. That was in the 80s. Okay. The late 80s. Okay. Now, Wheatley is now... Oh, yeah, Tyrone Wheatley. Yeah. He's oh, now, I get you. Okay. He's now a, a coach at Syracuse. He coaches the back years. Okay. Wheatley was huge back then. Yep. We well, played for the Giants in the NFL, or... I mean, or Eagles, or I, I don't think he played. For, did he play in the? Did he play in the NFL? Yeah, I think but he, his career was in Okay, all right. Um, now, um, well, I think one time went three years in a row we went to the Rose Bowl game. Okay. You went three years in a row in the Rose Bowl? That must have been in the 80s. Yep. Yeah. And we went to the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans. Okay. And we lost all for 9-7. All for kicked three field goals. And the last play of the game... That's the Superdome, right? Yep. Yeah. The last play of the game... Michigan guy caught the ball and instead of going out of bounds, he tried to stay in bounds and scored and he never made it and the game was over. He could have stepped out of bounds and saved time and then kicked for the three. You know? Yeah. I don't think there was any time in the clock. So but he could have saved some time if he went out of bounds. Yeah. And it, and it kicked with a tight three. Hey, Ryan. Uh, Back before overtime, there were all kinds of situations like that. I know the overtime changed everything. Bo Jackson played the ball. Yeah. Was he in that game? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. I was going to ask you about that because Auburn, I was like, that's where Jackson went, and that's where he made a name for himself. So he played against Michigan that day. Yep. Okay. And they play that name up real big down there, Bo Jackson. And of course, uh, Auburn's nearby, yeah. New Orleans, you know, so you got a big Michigan crowd, but I mean, 70% of the stadium is Auburn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they're neighbors. Yep. The Southeast Conference, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, Southeast. Yeah, that's, that's what they call real football. Did you take your wife with you? Oh yes, every game. Every game you went on a road trip with her? I took Steve for the whole family to one Rose Bowl and one Sugar Bowl. It was the, the Rose Bowl was in the 90s, I, I think. Yeah. Wasn't that when they won, when they played, uh, when they ended up with the tie for Nebraska for the yeah. 97? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was, um, um, Brady wasn't the starter. But he was on the team. Yep. Uh, who was the not Elvis Gerback? Who was the quarterback? Um, I can't remember. I'm trying to think. But the Sugar Bowl after the, it was a night game. We got back to the hotel. We walked back. The hotel was only about three blocks away. Okay. And we got back about 11:30. Stephen Gary's going to go down and check the lobby. Well, they should have checked the lobby very well, but the same to back at 3.30 until 3.30. <laughs> Why? They went, went down Bourbon Street. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you can't blame them. No, no. I mean, come on. <laughs> check the lobby, you know. <laughs> that was one of those moments where you know what's going on and you just like they're gonna they're gonna do what they're gonna do. Then I got up <laughs> and I heard some movement. They had to win that Yeah. I heard some movement. And I said, You got in at 3 30. And Gary said, how'd you know? I said, you made enough of noise when you came in the room <laughs> that I could hear next door. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that was a good, the 
following day we had off. Yeah. We could stay, we stayed. Like many of the games, we had to leave the following day, you know. And like the Rose Bowl, it ends about 7 o'clock California time, which means we get back and pass the noon on to about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Okay. Then you have to get up early, so you have to free pack and so on. You don't have too much time to celebrate that night or whatever you want to do that. Yeah, exactly. Whether they win or lost, yeah. depending upon. Well, I always celebrate it, no matter the outcome. <laughs> Well, in Pasadena, I'm sure I've I've never been to California, so I can't even un, uh, empathize with with a Rose Bowl like atmosphere. Well, see, it's it's in a it's in a valley, a canyon, and they park all over, you know. Okay. And when you go in, it's daytime, but when you leave the game, it's nighttime. So you better make sure you know where the hell you park. <laughs> You better pick out marks. Yeah, take a picture of the sign, the sign on the post. See, the time, letter and the number. At that time, we didn't have cell phones. So I, yeah. I my wife, okay, if we get lost, separate, we have to meet in a certain place. I play here right next to me. Yeah. Section 20 outside. You know? Yeah, okay. Uh, because if we're separated, the odds of finding someone. Astronomical. Yeah. I mean, that's before they even had like, uh, like car, um, like the 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 alarm where you just hit it and the horn goes, yep. so you can unlock and unlock your car with the sound. And they park all the buses in the same place, so we could come in on. Did you come in on them? Okay. All right. You know, all the buses are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to know exactly where that bus was parked. Yeah. <laughs> and if you would have had a camera like they have today, too, you could have taken a picture of the bus and matched it up against the background. Well, uh, and, and most of them, they use a lot of scooter buses to uh, take people to the road pole. Here. And of course, like I said, they're all yellow, so Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got to worry about the kids too. Yeah, well, we only took the two games. One Rose Bowl and one Sugar Bowl. Okay. And it was just Steve and... Uh, everybody went. Oh, everybody went? Nancy, everybody, Lay? Yeah. yeah, everybody. Everybody went. And at the Rose Bowl game, Gary was never much for sports, but we had to take him. So, watching the game, and he, he yells out to you, I'm sitting about four seats down. Dad, what's the first down? <laughs> Everybody in the section turned around. <laughs> what's the first down? I was so embarrassed. You know, <laughs> my wife on my girl. That's awesome. <laughs> that's the first down. Oh, man. Here he's sitting in a $75 seat, now they're $200, but $75 is a lot of money in the Oh, hell yeah it was. He doesn't know what a first dollar is. <laughs> That's like, well, it's not like what I, I used to chuckle taking a date to a hockey game and asking her what icing was or, you know, trying to, um, you know, the nuances of a game and listen to them try to explain it, you know. It was it was fun, but you wonder what where have you been? You know, how come you don't know what a first down is or icing is? Or... <laughs> and he was at a track team in high school. If you're not, he was at a track team. Okay, so he was athletic. Well, right. not football, not baseball. Yeah, but he could run pretty fast. Okay. My wife put her head down. <laughs> did she come to all the games with you here? Or, yeah. So she did she sit up here for a little while? No, because um, she passed away before the section was open. Okay. When did this open up? Um, was this one of the more like recent developments? Yep, I would say uh, three years ago, I think. Okay. This and that side. And the new scoreboards. Okay. I know, they're amazing. 
Yeah, I don't remember seeing this area here before. And it's like 107, 110,000 now. Well, for the Notre Dame, they got 114,000. Okay. So we got UMass on the field right now. Yep. Warming up. So what do they do? They dress over at Chrysler or some other building? Yeah, they dress right under the stand. So they dress under the stand? Yeah, this is nice locker room. Okay. I thought they did, but what? So what? The, so the band was practicing at the a practice facility or something around the corner. Yes. Okay. That's where the visiting band practices. Right. Okay. Yeah, I know. And, and the Michigan band comes in from this. They come from Hoover Street from this way, right from the camp in this way. Okay. Uh, I know they're huge. It's so funny, everybody measures themselves against Michigan Stadium. Every time another stadium does something, it's because they want to be better than Michigan. <laughs> well, you know, That's a fact. Uh, the sports announcer, Jackson, what was his first name? Uh, Keith Jackson. Right. He's the one that named this the Big House. Yeah, big I re yeah, I remember hearing that. Yep. Big the Big House. house. It's iconic now. I mean, I know someone whose kid's middle name is Big House, all one word. Because seriously, the kid's first name is whatever John or John Big House this. That's amazing. I don't know if the kid's going to appreciate it when he grows up, but... <laughs> That's a Michigan fan right there, though. Looking at the aisles across the hall, across the field. Yeah. You see a railing going up from the center of the aisle? Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, the railings never used to be no, there, did they? No. But still, they don't have them in the student section. Well, so they don't have them upstairs? In the student section, right? There. Oh, in the student section, yeah, okay. So that's the student section yeah. in the end zone. It goes from the end zone to about the 20 yard line. Okay. And then they have the ticket, the, the, the reserve ticket prices are all they're all here. All around here, but that's the only student section right there. Yeah. Okay. Well that's cool. I mean I don't know any of this because I'm seriously, I'm like so I haven't been here since 89. <laughs> or 99. So it's been a while. Well, quite frankly, the neighbor gives me all these tickets. Yeah. Now, the ones where Steve is sitting on, he's had those tickets since the late 50s. Wow. And he doesn't want to give them up. He's 90 years old. He doesn't want to give them up. So that's where Steve gets yeah. his? And where, is the, where do they come from? Like, the, he, this same person has those in these? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I get you. Okay. So he wanted these tickets. So it made it easier for him to take the elevator. So oh, yeah, but he didn't want to give those up either. No, because he had them since the 50s. So it's a traditional thing for yeah. him. Oh, okay. But, That's the Mr. Mitchell? Yeah, but now it's hard for him to walk, so he just can't, he can't make it anymore. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like the Kip Taylor story. Kip Taylor wouldn't have minded this being around if he were still alive. He could have taken the elevator up and sat down here and had a nice time. Instead of, he talked about sitting in the stands and not having anywhere to go to the bathroom. Well, <laughs> and the park was good here. You know, a lot of people park way down Main Street. You and Briarwood walk. They walk up from Briarwood? Yep. Holy crap. When they go, that's a hike. There's Michigan. I'll show you what it's called. So there, well that's, but this is still early, right? Yep. I mean, the game's not going to start for another 45 minutes. No, this is at 3.30, so they'll go in about a quarter after. So we're going to be out for 15 minutes now. And then they come out about... Oh, okay, all right. Obviously, they're just going to take over the field and practice. 